we've gotten our hands on the day one patch for starfield and this is going to be available for the early access as well as the official launch date and just an fyi the patch notes does include the names of quests so if you're not interested in that or if you consider that as a spoiler just giving you a heads up now all right if you haven't already make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more starfield content let's get straight into it so this very patch will be available for the early access as well as the official launch date all right so the size of the patch for xbox x and s is 15.48 gigs and for pc it's 13.4 gigs so the first category here is the performance and stability fixes it says improve stability related to suspending and resuming the game this is for xbox series x and s they fixed a rare crash that could occur when viewing the credits after completing the game so some people have already completed the game this is most likely the people that are reviewing the game all right so that's interesting they fixed a crash that could appear when repeatedly loading some saves inside of ships so that's interesting various stability and performance improvements okay so the very next category is visual fixes it says fixed an issue where sometimes here would not appear on characters that's good it's good that they fixed that improve distance object appearance when transitioning to the surface of a planet so that's been fixed address an issue that sometimes causes face animations to move abruptly so that's a good fix they fix an issue where rarely in certain views white flashing boxes could appear in the hand scanner that's interesting i didn't know about a hand scanner but that's a that's going to be something interesting to see what that is. Fixed an issue that would cause an undesirable texture blend near the coastline. And they fixed an issue that would cause texture to degrade unnecessarily. So now this is for the Xbox Series S. Next is the gameplay fixes. They fixed a rare issue that could cause companions to float in the air. I'm glad they fixed that. They fixed an issue that could cause subship modules to become misaligned. That's a good fix. They fixed some issues that would prevent touchdown points from turning red in ship builder. Touchdown points. What are those? If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments down below. Fix an issue that could cause the player to appear incorrectly when equipping items. That's interesting. They addressed an issue that could prevent the isolation scale from behaving as intended. That is interesting. Isolation. What skill is that? You guys let me know. What's, what's this isolation skill about? All right. So they've addressed the distance the player is able to access and store cargo in their ship. Interesting. So it looks like as you go about, oh, probably when you have loot or cargo you need to bring it to your ship and essentially this is going to be the how far away you need to be from your ship in order to actually store it onto the ship uh inventory so that's good you don't you don't necessarily need to go directly inside of the ship um but uh, you just need to be nearby so i think i think they went with this direction um for the sake of uh saving time all right so that's uh that's interesting they fixed an issue that sometimes cause a long delay on the press any button screen. Interesting. Up next is quest fixes. Fix rare issue that could cause ship patrol not to appear for the first to flight first to die. So that looks like a, an interesting quest there. They've addressed a rare issue where the contraband scan would not occur potentially preventing landing at new atlantis interesting so that's uh this is associated with the smuggling mechanic um for those that don't know you'll be able to smuggle items um to planets and in order to actually smuggle contraband you need to have special items on your ship um that would allow it to pass the scans from the security uh, before landing at new atlantis all right, they fixed an unlikely issue that could prevent landing at New Atlantis during deep cover. Interesting. What is deep cover? That looks like another 
quest, probably associated with uh, the Crimson Fleet. They did mention that you would you would need to go undercover to do the quest line for Crimson Fleet. Could that be? We'll have to see. They fixed a new shoe that could prevent heat leeches from counting as killed after completing a legacy forge. Interesting quest name. What's that going to be about? We'll have to see. Fixed how a location could appear near a hidden earth landmark. Interesting. So there are going to be some interesting locations on earth when we go back to see it. That's going to be one of the things I'm going to be doing. So can't wait to actually play the game. Fixed a rare issue that could potentially trap the player in the facility. Interesting, interesting, interesting. They've addressed an infrequent issue where a spacer ship didn't correctly appear for a Radiant Quest. Radiant Quest, what is that? That's interesting. They fixed an unlikely issue that could appear during the revelation depending on how the player interacted with the emissary. Interesting. They've addressed an issue where the demo slim bottom ship module that is used on the Razor Leaf. Interesting. So that is... um. One of the um, modules that we've seen, one of the companies that um, build modules. And um, interesting, what ship is the Razor Leaf? Interesting. Okay. They fixed a rare issue that could prevent companions from accompanying the player after no sudden moves. Interesting. So address the rare issue that could impact power from beyond. Very, very interesting. So those are the patch notes that were provided. I'll provide you the link where we got this. It's from Game Sensor, and uh, you can find that in the description down below. As always, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.